This is just going to be a short video of a walk around St Catherine's Woods. Um, hopefully it'll take in some, some good views. Uh, shouldn't be too long. I should hope to be doing it in about 15 to 20 minutes. And um, I'm just going to share this journey with you. So we're starting off here on St Catherine's Hill. Which is just, St Catherine's Hill is just um, to the north of Christchurch. And... Uh, this is all part of the new forest. So the first part of this walk is um, along the bottom of the hill. Uh, we're just going to walk through the woods on the lower level. Eventually we're going to come to a huge hill which will take my breath away for a bit. Um, now we're just coming out. I'll show you where the, sort of the hill we're going to be climbing in a minute. So this is a part of the hill we should be climbing up. As you can tell, we're not too far from Bournemouth Airport. Not quite sure of the gradient. I'll find out. Before we get to the, the big hill, we're going to go up and down a couple of small ones. At the bottom here, we have a bit of a, a should we call it a water feature? Some might call it a muddy puddle, but it's certainly here. Certainly needs crossing. Here we go. We managed to cross that vast expanse of water. Okay, this is the hill we shall be climbing up now. It's not quite Mount Kilimanjaro. But I'm sure by the time I get to the top, I will be completely and utterly out of breath. So we're uh, about just over a third of the way up this huge hill. As you can tell, as you probably hear, my breathing is getting quite heavy. Well, we're nearly at the top now. As I say, it is quite, quite steep. Uh, my heartbeat now has rocketed out to 121 beats per minute. Oh my days. But, well, I don't know. It's a coin of cli cliche. No pain, no gain. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh. So now we're at the top of this, uh, out the hill. Fortunately it plateaus out a, a bit now, giving me time to get my breath back. Ooh. Maybe I'll sprint up there later. We're about halfway round now. There's this lovely little bench and uh, we've got some really good views. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, it's always nice to stop and have a little rest after you We've climbed up that hill. It uh, gives you time for a little bit of reflection, have a, have a bit of a think. <sighs> calm your chimp down, calm that bit of your brain that goes a bit crazy at times. And then just enjoy, just enjoy the, the beauty of being outside. Enjoy, enjoy the nature bathing. There you go, this is the views. Sure, I actually can see because the sun's right in the, in our faces. There you go. I'm not sure if you can see the masks in the background there. No, I don't think you can. So this is the path. This is why we come up here. This is the viewpoint. Um, I shall show you. <laughs> beautiful views of the national grid but as you see it is a, a pretty spectacular site so this is the view from the top it's uh, we're facing north um, you can tell it's quite spectacular views somewhere in the distance up there is uh, Ringwood I'm sure if you can probably see over there Huh. 
there we go it's a nice beautiful morning beautiful spring morning and we're at the top we're about 178 feet above sea level on a beautiful new forest morning so uh, after leaving the viewpoint we're going to be heading down walking down this little gravel path now on our descent down the side of Mount Kilimanjaro so we're heading down the hill we're coming to the end so it's not a very long walk but you know it's just good to be outside on on, on a nice sunny morning on a sunny day whilst you're walking your mind does tend to wander and it kind of helps with your general well-beingness breathing in fresh air being in the woods yeah it's, it's, it's a nice feeling kind of kind of sends you into a sort of like a, a mobile meditational state relaxes your relaxes your mind obviously a good brisk walk's good for you a good form of exercise low impact and it's really just part of the whole outdoor experience it's really cool so here we are virtually at the bottom of the hill now I've nearly finished the walk here's a, a couple of pools of water nothing too dramatic but if you have got a dog you really don't want them to go in here <laughs> this stuff does smell it's pretty smeggy not too bad while you're walking around but of course as soon as you get your beloved pooch back into the car or back into your house you will realize he absolutely stinks so we've reached that point there's a interesting poo, poo bin i think it's meant for dogs i don't think you're a Basically, just sort of sit down in it and have a squat and have a quick one yourself. So this is where we started. All in all, it's taken just over 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So, yeah, um, a nice little walk. But the hill makes it a little interesting. So it's quite a, it's a very steep hill. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I think. It works out, I shall be doing some more.